2K Sports pregame show. Good evening, everybody. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Great to have you with us on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls up against the Thunder out in Oklahoma City. teams two conferences it's a road game for the Bulls in this one we're happy to have you with us for 2k sports midweek presentation of NBA basketball this is Kevin Harlan and by my side Greg Anthony and Brent Berry and from the sideline David Aldridge Taking a look. And you know Brent we know top level coaching is an all-in affair strategy motivation working the officials but who are some of the most complete coaches in the league right now well at the top of the list is Greg Popovich and what he does there's there's no doubt that the way that he has his team prepared on a nightly basis carrying out the game plan the way he works the sidelines as you mentioned Kevin Greg Popovich is the cream of the crop when it comes to NBA coaches Bulls shooting their first foul of the night and taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season uh, right around 74 percent. Alex Sabrinas has checked in for George then for the Bulls Quincy Pondexter he's checked in for Miritich and Wells is subbed in for Cameron Payne. Free throw no good for DJ. And when you watch D.J. play and the way he's found some early success, Greg, you are just surprised that he didn't commit himself to basketball earlier on. I mean, I understand his love for music, but he missed some valuable developmental time taking that time off. Yeah, but, but to be fair, D.J.'s a different player today than he was in the past. He was only interested in music and, and essentially removed himself from draft consideration. So now he just comes off as a much more focused and committed player. And for this team, he looks to be well worth the wait. Well, I like seeing DJ's skills, not at the turntables, but at the rack. Who needs layups when you can throw it down like that? And he gets the bucket. What a quarter right here, establishing some confidence. Four of five shooting the ball. Bulls trail by four. Feeds it to Levine. Pass to Pondexter. They set the pick. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Unloads. And it's DJ missing. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Westbrook kicks to Felton. Back to Westbrook. And that comes off the assist by Raymond Felton. 
And that's 10 points for Russell Westbrook. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Portis, the pass to DJ. as it rattles through the hoop. DJ's got his third basket of the night. A confidence in the mid-range, which is going to make him impossible to defend. Here's Westbrook. He's off on that one, so the Bulls will take it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. And they couldn't get stops when they needed to. The opposition just too comfortable shooting the basketball. And it's not that you have to take chances, but you got to step up your effort and try to get disruptive. They never did that. And on the road, that's a recipe for disaster. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Abrinas. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And already you're seeing great execution from both teams. Yeah, lots of points early, and the game plans on both sides, at least offensively, working to perfection. Over in the corner, Portis. To the paint. Four seconds left. Moves back up. And DJ with the nice bucket inside. DJ's got 10 points in the game. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And a moment now to hear from Steven Adams as he reflects back. So, like, the youngest over there has to do everything, like, all chores. <laughs> Hard to imagine growing up in such a huge family, but it sounds like maybe it prepared him for life in the NBA. Yeah, I'd say it might have toughened him up a little bit, that's for sure. Wow, 18? I, that is mind-boggling. Up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. What do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? Cleaning the glass, I mean, right from the jump, and that really helped them to set the tone. I think you said it. if you start off playing physical, Greg, there's kind of the attention of the referees and the opponent that you're coming at them all night long. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Arkinen is out there with Quincy Pondex. Then it's DJ, then there's Wells, and it's Holiday in at the two spot. Felton kicks to Westbrook. Shoots over Wells. Another miss by Westbrook. Yeah, the defense cannot afford to be that lazy. You got to be up on the shooters at all times, especially at the mid-range. A nice shot by Pondexter. Greg, you watch the Thunder play, and it's clear that this team comes out looking to attack. Everyone on the team wants to put it on the floor and go right at the rim. And part of that is their leader, Westbrook, just setting the tone. I mean, team finished near the top in points in the paint last season, and the addition of Paul George just helps to enforce that strength. Well, body and control isn't just for your shampoo at home. It's right there in Russell Westbrook. He gets fouled and still converts. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Patterson, he's checked in for Grant. And George is subbed in for Raymond Felton. Chicago also making some changes. Heritage comes in for Quincy Pondex. And it's Payne in for Wells. Oklahoma City leading by three. In the corner, it's Westbrook. A shot's good on the assist by George. Westbrook's got six here in this quarter. Now the defense looking at him like a Rubik's Cube. They cannot figure him out. He continues to light him up from the field. More importantly, they're winning. Kane kicks to Markinen. And there's the pass to Miritich. Kane with it. 11 points for him in that last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. Whoa! People talk so much about shoot first guy with Westbrook. How about that time finding the open man? And the highlight real replay brought to you by Under Armour. Another unleash chaos moment. Excellent work by the talented people in our production truck as well. And how about the execution on that play? The screen was set up in exactly the right spot. And the finish wasn't too bad either. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how you see so many picks, but this one sets up the defense well. No one rotates over. Bang. Here's Miritich. Off target from outside. 
Oklahoma City leading by six. Takes the three. And Patterson kicks to George. Outside Westbrook. And stolen by Payne. Dishes it to Miritich. It's stolen by Adams. Outside Westbrook. Over Payne. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Adams has got the lead up to eight now for the Thunder. Just becoming better and better at the catch and shoot game. If Westbrook ever perfects that part of the offensive end of the floor, look out. And so it's Oklahoma City. 13 points up at the end of the. Thanks, Kevin. Russell, how confident are you that. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows. So the Thunder with some changes. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Ennis Cantor. And Abrinas subbed in for Roberson. Chicago also making some changes. DJ is checked in for Lopez. Markinen comes in for Dwayne Wade. And Justin Holliday is subbed in for Zach Levine. At small forward and power forward, it's George and Patterson. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And then there's Steven Adams. And it's Abrinas in at the shooting guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Greg, the one thing about Patrick Patterson out of Kentucky, he is a smart basketball player. Yeah, he's not the best rebounder or shot blocker, but the advanced stats love him. And he gets the job done at both ends of the floor. Releases from 15, and so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And the former college defensive player of the year in his conference, few knew that Westbrook would reach such elite scoring at the pro level. Well, Brent, the media and others have commented that while Westbrook is a gifted scorer, he isn't an efficient scorer. What do you think of that? Well, Russell is surrounded by guys who are still trying to figure out exactly what they are supposed to be in the league. He's not going to wait around for them to figure it out on his watch. And so that's the delicate dance right now for Oklahoma City. Russell Westbrook trying to find the balance between leading the charge and putting a charge in his teammates. Yeah, the onslaught continues. He's been unstoppable now for a couple of nights. Well, a tip of the cap to the coaching staff here. They're recognizing how well he's playing, so the game plan has been built around it. And the Thunder with some changes. Jeremy Grant comes in for George, and it's Felton in for Russell Westbrook. The Thunder leading by 13. Felton kicks to Grant. Passes it to Abrinas. From 12 feet out, that one off the back iron and out. Chicago's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. And there's the bucket from Markinen. I'm a big fan of how Markinen runs the floor. He's got tremendous mobility, and he knows how to create angles for the pass. Felton kicks to Adams. And it's DJ with the rebound. DJ's got rebound number five here tonight. And it's Bain in the corner. Now the dish to DJ. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Three on three. Here's Abrinas, guarded by Holiday. Here's Adams, outside Felton. Releases from 15, hits the front of the rim and out. Bulls trail by 10. Here's Miritich, offline with his three. Oklahoma City has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Abrinas, the pass to Adams. Screen by Adams. Now, here's Grant. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Clock is at three. Shoots over Markinen. Here's Adams. They shoot again. He takes it up and lays it in. And the Thunder lead by 12. 
Well, you have to put at least one body on Adams, maybe two. With his size and relentlessness, he'll light you up on the offensive glass. Roberson, he's checked in for the front. Wade. now complete we will go to overtime 2k sports back in a moment here in oklahoma city well if you love great competition and neck and neck basketball action this one has been a great one overtime number one getting going right now and it's going to be the bulls off the tip and always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So for Oklahoma City right now, Patterson the four with Canner in the middle. Westbrook and Robertson are the backcourt pair. And it's George in at the small forward position. There's a screen by Canner. Here's Roberson. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Chicago leading. Outside, Levine. Wade kicks to DJ. And Cantor pulls it down. Oklahoma City shooting 47% from the floor. Getting it done. Here's Roberson. Pass to Cantor. For the basket is eight, eight for 13 from the floor. Known as a coachable guy with a very positive attitude, Cantor has to be feeling good on that shot. Payne kicks to Levine. Here's the screen. DJ with it. He's against Cantor, and there it is for him. DJ's got the lead up to two now for the Bulls. And that could prove to be a massive bucket in this game. DJ gets called on, and he responds. There's a screen by Cantor. Here's Roberson. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. For Chicago, they've gone two or three from the floor as we've gotten this overtime period underway. Shoots from 12. Here's Miritich. Count the basket and the foul. That's on Patrick Patterson. Just can't draw that up any better. It's a and so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. They escaped with a victory, although they needed an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I feel... get overtime pay for overtime games right when a regular job type person has to stay late tell them what happens boo boo yeah i get time and a half but i should be getting double time we need that we need extra compensation it makes too much sense hey who's our union rep let's get that in the next cba call adam silver say hey we want overtime pay why not let's at least raise the issue you know gain some awareness honestly man i don't know if you're crazy or pure genius genius Hey, when you look back one day and you're dealing with your own rookie, you'll understand my ways. I work mysteriously, huh, Boo Boo? Almost like the Messiah, bro.